was building on a lecture Versus coming daily under pressure Working on a plot and a scheme The true stock trade walk is at the edge of your dreams I'm talking one One shot for the kill The priest cut freeze up Straight drop in the chills I'm talking Taking over pieces and shares of all big sky Oceanside Collegiate Academy is a public charter high school um, located in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. Oceanside Collegiate Academy is, is a special place. Um, it's created that way by our leader, which is Brenda Corley. She's done, done a marvelous job of starting from scratch five years ago. Truly a family. Uh, we have a very unique um, setup, a unique model. We are focused on allowing students the opportunity to get their high school diploma and up to up teen college credit. We're very small which uh, allows us to what we have we call or I call it team. Um, so we get to form very really close relationships with our students and our um, parents. I, I can't imagine a high school this special. Uh, not only is it high academics and high athletics, it's just a family environment here and that just really comes from the top with Ms. Corley. Um, the people that she's hired to propagate that throughout the school is just remarkable. We are believers in a athletic based education and uh, our girls soccer team I think definitely um, exemplifies the prototype um, land shark. Ready? Go! Girls soccer um, holds a very close place in my heart. I actually don't know anything about soccer. Five years ago when I was hired by Ms. Corley to lead the women's soccer program, there were, we only had nine players and uh, I was literally walking through the hallways down at the school in McClellanville looking for uh, girls that just wanted to, to play a sport. Go! I've taught most of the girls and every year I seem like I have um, more and more soccer players in the class and they're just so, um, they're such great girls. Last year's seniors, I told them that they were the ones that sort of got us going. You know, that we, we won some games and made a name for ourselves a little bit, and then uh, other players started coming. But they were the ones that sort of got us the numbers going anyway. Possession day to day, a good bit of fitness at the end. Wednesday, Thursday, we shoot. Friday, we lift. Monday, we play. And I'll, I'll go through the list of who's going to play against Fort Rochester uh, tomorrow. After, because I got to deal with the basketball players today. Okay? Over there to score um, they're great leaders in the classroom, um, very bubbly, very fun personality, and they're just really fun to be around. And um, so I just kind of slowly um, kind of incorporated myself more in, um, in the program. Losing a season to COVID, we were, we were still 2A last year, and we would have, uh, my best guess is that we would have won the state championship last year as well. And to have lost that season after such a great start that we had, we, we ended up playing nine games before the season was canceled, and we were really looking good. I mean, this is a team where I've not seen, you know, negative attitudes on the field. I've not seen internal conflict with them. I mean, every other sport that I've worked with, they usually will have some sort of issue, but not this team. I mean, this team, they had a goal. And then this current senior class, which we're going to lose here uh, shortly, um, are the girls that put us on the map. They're the ones that started winning the big games and got us noticed. And uh, we went to the state championship in 2019. Uh, we started eight underclassmen, which included, of course, these seniors when they were sophomores. For the regular season, uh, we knew going in that um, three of the best teams in the entire state are Bishop England, Academic Magnet, and us. Tonight we play Bishop England, which is our first region game, actually our first game of the season this year as well. Uh, Bishop England's a perennial state champion, so 
just looking to start the season off right. And uh, you know, I think everybody's a little uh, excited for the for the evening. Let's hope uh, things go the way that we hope they go. them and lost three to one in like the last four minutes it was super like sad because we worked so hard for it come on Hannah come on Hannah Bishop of England has always been uh, viewed um, as a really top level uh, girls soccer team boys as well so it, it sort of permeates through all sports how are they a threat? Long ball. What happened? We, we've got to get in their face. If you don't get in their face, they're going to play a long ball and then we're in trouble. Okay? Yeah. Then we're going to pass the ball. I mean, if they have space. Three, 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 three. That's crazy because last year they scored three goals on you. Your night was pretty cool. Um... Third, Britain fourth, Ali fifth, Willa sixth, Emily seventh, Ella Halsey eighth, Eden ninth. Senior night, um, I'm an old softie anyway. I was a Marine, everybody thinks I have a hard shell, but um, I'm a softie for sure. I shed a few tears when I'm speaking about the senior class. They're obviously, you know, they're the ones that, like I said earlier, they're, they're the ones that put us on the map. You remember the last time we had one of these, it was at Charleston Battery Stadium two years ago. We didn't have one last year. 
So I'm very grateful that we're getting the season in. Um, this senior class in general, I told the senior classes before that they got the program started. This is the senior class that got us noticed. We started winning with this group. And they're going to be sorely missed. I just think our seniors really understood how much they and they had put into this season and uh, wanted to, to get the most out of it. Senior night was pretty special. All the seniors started. This senior class has brought the most camaraderie to the team. We do everything together because they lead us. It is, and I'm super proud of this senior class. Gonna miss all of them so much. Yeah! Alrighty. First up, we have Valentina Mascara, escorted by Maria and Robert Mascara. Like the funniest thing was when Britton walked out with her fried chicken and she was so excited about it. And I didn't actually get to eat that chicken. My dad took it. Pretty disappointing. You know, one thing that did set my mind heavy about senior night is that, like, the girls that I've played with since my freshman year, like, I won't be playing with them. I won't be playing with them next year. Like, they're really going to be gone next year when it comes to high school season again. Like, they won't be Tina, no Jordan, no Britton. Like, they won't be there anymore. A special, you know, a group of girls that really took us to the next level, and um, I'm going to miss them a lot for sure. You know what positions you're playing. I have to go through it. Y'all saw. Okay. Um, I'm not sure about the team, but stomp it around. Let's know how to play like we know how to play. Okay. Second time. One, two, three. Oh, Sometimes when you cut off the spigot, you know, we were rolling, we were getting goal, 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 goal. And then you tell everybody to stop. It takes a little while for teams to sort of crank it back up a little because your, your brain is go, going into like, hey, 25 passes, 25 passes. But 
it took about maybe four or five minutes and it seemed like it would start clicking again. So way to turn it off, be able to turn it off and then turn it on. So very nice display, uh, good sportsmanship. I enjoyed that part of the game as well. You didn't disrespect your opponent, which is always a great thing, okay? Um, more than likely, we'll probably be in the gym tomorrow would be my guess because it's going to start raining about 11 o'clock tonight pretty hard apparently. And uh, we'll just have to see about Academic Magnet. My guess is is that it won't happen because he's, he's missing a lot of players for uh, Jeff Cup. And he's probably not going to play that game, so he's going to find a reason to cancel. So, anyway. Happy Senior Night. Happy Senior Night. Yeah. Very nice. Good display. Cupcakes are over there. Hey, Dad! Yeah, just reach in and grab a hand. Touching each other anyway. Woo! Woo! Cupcakes! Cupcakes! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This season we've kind of started off pretty strong. We've been tested a few times. Coming into the season, like we finally like not knowing each other and who plays what position. Like we finally came together and like play as a team. been actually really successful. Um, all the new incoming freshmen have been just a great addition. So going to, into the season playing Bishop Bingham twice and uh, we were able to beat them five to one in the first game and then uh, four to one in the second game. Our biggest accomplishment was beating BE two times in a row this year. Our, our biggest game has been beating BE and we walked them. Right now we're 5-0 in the region. This is the best team we've had the past four years I've been here. We are undefeated in the region and we only have four games left. So we're doing really well. We're 5-0 in the region. Because of COVID, and in normal years, the top four teams from our region go into a playoff. So we all knew, all three of those coaches knew that going into the regular season, that one of those best teams in the state wouldn't even make the playoffs. So that made those regular season games even more important. It essentially was a playoff. The whole season has been working towards state championship. We don't work to a specific game. I think that we'll definitely get to state championships. We just need to finish our chances. I believe we can win state if we really want it. Um, we just had to work as a team. Playoffs for us last year weren't all that competitive. Seeing how the team has progressed as a whole since the beginning of the season and since my freshman year when we got absolutely destroyed every single game, um, it's pretty. It was. It's pretty funny to, to watch. If I had to describe this season in one word thus far, besides Ubuntu, our team philosophy, I would say passion, hardworking, challenging, fun, rings. This season's had the most desire to win. We're all just waiting for lower state and then playoffs lower state and just state. Ubuntu, I mean, it's our word of the year. Um, it's, it's got, everyone has like a different meaning for it. No one really knows what Ubuntu means. It's just kind of, on Ubuntu? Oh, oh, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, right? Talk about that, they all wanna talk about that. So, um. 
let me tell you we we have something in in our african uh, community something that is very difficult to put into english it is it is called ubuntu ubuntu I was watching Netflix, um, just bored one night watching Netflix and was watching this uh, program called The Coach's Playbook. And it's an interview of some famous coaches from different sports. And one of the shows was uh, Doc Rivers, who had led the uh, Boston Celtics and then, of course, he's with the Clippers now. Coach Meyer and um, Murray both, um, I think I asked them because I saw it on the back of their shirt. and. Um, I asked him what it was, and then I, it made me want to look it up, and I, I think that, um, and I even stole it for a, a faculty message not too long ago, because I think the, the concept... I can't be a human being on my lonesome. I wouldn't know how to speak as a human being. I wouldn't know how to think as a human being. I wouldn't know how to walk as a human being. He was approached by uh, a lady one time saying, hey coach, you're gonna have a fantastic year, but have you ever heard of Ubuntu? And uh, he had not, but and neither had I until I saw this show. But when I, as soon as I finished watching the show, my assistant coach is my daughter and I texted her right away and said, hey, you gotta watch this. Uh, I want you to learn about Ubuntu. And what Ubuntu essentially means is... The essence of being human. And it says, a solitary human being is a contradiction in terms. We can't be the best that we can be without um, relying on each other, so it's the we before the me, and we've kind of really taken that to heart this year. The whole team has bought onto this huge concept that's really catapulted us into where we are today. We can't put one person down and expect to be up. Like, we're all going to be up or we're all going to be down. We lose and we win together, no matter what. We're still a team. I am only because you are. And, and we, we then say, a person is a person through other persons. You have to be your best in order for me to be my best. I think it's such a all-encompassing sort of idea because if you look at the school, if you look at teachers, right, they have to be their best in order for kids to be their best, for, for all other teachers to be their best. That essentially is what Oceanside is. Um, we, we strive um, on the better work of each other. We push each other um, to be better, to do better, and in result of that we want to be better. Mentally I'm not there that my team will like rally around me and make me better because they are my strength. Um, we rely on each other, we realize that we're a team, and that's really carried us super far. The energy is always high, the girls are always looking out for each other. It's always it's about the, the we and not the me, you know, about putting your teammates, you know, before you almost, not worrying so much about what's going to benefit you, but worrying about what's going to benefit the program and the team as a whole. Yeah, I, I think it was, the, it was the perfect, you know, motto, phrase, whatever you want to say, for the, for the season. We kind of like made a little thingy for it, but it's like understanding, uh, break, an break ankles, unite, um, never give up, teamwork, and um, uplift your team. Watching it live out and live through our school and live through our athletics program um, is really cool to see. Administration, we're all here because we have chosen to be sharks. Um, so I love, I love that um, that Coach Meyer and the soccer team brought Ubuntu to Oceanside. We're all in this together. We're all, humanity's all in it together. Um, we're not meant to be people by ourselves. We're meant to be people as part of a community. But specific to the team, it just means that I can't do as good as I possibly can do unless you do as good as you can possibly do. Uh, so it, what that does is just create a dynamic in the team that. Well, there's no jealousies, there's no clicks. It's just, everybody I really identified and bought into to that this year. Um, that 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 would be the the piece that we would need beyond being a great physically conditioned good soccer team to make sure that we were a good close knit group as well. And we really had that this year. Though everybody really bought into it, Ubuntu, and um, I was very pleased that I decided to watch Netflix that night. So Coach Ma 
Meyer. Um, Coach Meyer started with us, I believe, spring of our first year. Coach Mark, um, Coach Mark, uh, we, we are so lucky to have him. He does like surprise you sometimes, just be like, all right, so he really about to do that. Getting lazy on the check it away, check it two. Show your hands open to the right way. Coach Mark, um, he's the head coach, he's also my dad. Um, I love getting to work with him and under him. Watching him with the girls is something really special that I um, particularly enjoy. Coach Mark is awesome. He's been my coach. I've known him for so long. I've known him for about five years, so I knew him like before coming to Oceanside. So he was a big factor, like why I chose to come to Oceanside. Um, I had him as a coach when I was a freshman in high school. No, going into freshman year, and he was a club coach, and I was trying out for that team. And he was like, so you're coming to Oceanside? And I was like, yeah, I'm not sure yet. I didn't know who he was. Definitely for the last two years, I have relied on him daily, uh, depended on him. And, and most of all, I, I trust him with, um, with our students, which um, for me, that's the main thing. I have to be able to trust people with, with my kids, basically. And um, there's nobody better. Um, he's just, he's such a good person, um, a great leader, and what he's done to like watch what he's done to our um, athletics program um, is tremendous. He, when you're around him, you, um, I tell people that, you know, I feel heard, I feel valued, and I feel respected, and um, he shows that same those same words to us every single day. Um, he lives through Mbutu. Um, he knows that he he's his best when we're at our best, and so he's with that, encouraging on us, um, supports our dreams, and he loves this team more than anything.